Welcome back to the channel folks and welcome to another little frozen food review. Now today we're going to be looking at this all day breakfast um, by Asda and this cost £2.50. All day breakfast. Juicy Cumberland sausage and bacon with a fluffy omelette, baked beans and a crispy hash brown. I somehow doubt the hash brown of the crispy. Serves one by Asda. It's a 350 gram meal. Now let's get a look at the traffic light system to see what we're working with inside. Fat, 19 grams of fat, of which saturates 4.6, sugars 4.2, and salt 2.3. And to be fair, it looks rather tasty. But let's hope we get something somewhat similar to that. Best before, so let's get straight to the back. And I will hold that there so you can get a look at the ingredients. Tell me what you think. And you can also see their nutritional information. Ready to cook frozen baked beans in tomato sauce, almond, hash brown, cumberland pork sausage, and a beef protein casing, and back bacon. Now the cooking instructions, so if you want to cook this in the oven, 200 degrees, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, fan 188, gas mark 6 for 30 to 35 minutes. But I am using the microwave to do this. 700 watt, 10 and a half minutes. So peel away the film from the tray, remove the bacon and sausage, place the container into a microwave plate, cook on full power five and a half minutes, peel back the film carefully and stir beans, re-add the sausage and bacon and recover. Okay, so it's a, a two part microwave procedure here. So let's get a look at the product. It wants me to take out the sausage and bacon. Yeah, so we'll, Get a look at it. And there we go. There is what we're working with. Very similar to the Tesco one we done not so long ago. But there's the, the sausage. Doesn't look great. Put that to the side. And there's the bacon. Look at the, the amount of fat on that bacon. That looks raw, that bacon. Really does look raw. Now it is defrosted slightly because I have had it out of the the freezer for a bit, but I didn't think it would defrost that quick. Still a bit frozen there, but yeah, but skeptical eating that bacon. So just double check what it says here. Okay, so we'll just peel that a bit more and we'll put them three items in the beans. The omelet and the hash brown for five and a half minutes, and then we'll add these two glorious items. And I'll bring you back at the next stage. I'm a bit concerned about this bit of bacon because, yeah, I have had this out now, I have had this out of the, the freezer for a bit, and it has thawed really, really quick. It looks raw to me, and maybe you can cook bacon from raw, I don't know, but. In the microwave that is, we're going to give it a go, but if it looks too dodgy and I'm not happy with the way it looks, I'm not beating it. So I will put that in like that, put it in for another five minutes, it says on the, the box here, for some that white microwave. And um, we'll roll the dice, bring you back. So there's how things look after the, the full term in the microwave. Look at the bacon. Look how it's turned out. It has actually just cooked from raw to a shriveled up piece of bacon. The sausage, I'm sure, will be delightful. <laughs> okay, let's dish it up onto a plate, or it should be just here in the container. You know what? This time, no, we'll put it on the plate. Put it on the plate. 
so you can see it better. Bacon, omelet, hash brown, sausage, and just pour beans down here. First impressions, folks, not good. Not good, but I sort of knew it. It wouldn't be great, but I just got it to show you to see if it was any different or any better than the, the Tesco's one we reviewed previously. Let's break open the sausage and show you inside. Good quality meat. <laughs> Not. You can't go wrong with egg, can we? Or omelet, should I say? These all know what a, a mushy hash brown looks like. So, huh. let's do the taste test. What do you think? Would you chance it? We're going to. But we'll we'll start off sort of relatively safe and. Start with the beans. They're fine, just generic, cheap beans, tomato sauce. Nothing really to shoot home about. Nice, mushy hash brown. A hint of like oniony flavour to that or something. Mm. That's grand. Just finished that now. Obviously hash browns are much nicer whenever they're crispy. But um, the goo out in the microwave is not really um, doable. Now these sausages, these are like Death sticks, pure garbage, crappy. Look at this for me. Crappy grey meat. Real low quality garbage. Real garbage. Taste. Just taste like. Disgustingness, I don't know what way to describe it. But this is the the almond. Edible. It's edible. No. Do we chance this? This was raw a minute ago and we just knew it cooked in the microwave. But Frigate, I'm going to do it. Look how small the fat is now. That was huge. Huge big built of fat all around that bacon. That shriveled up into nothing. Sort of trying to stay around the edge, the bits that are cooked more. Well, probably fine. But, That's right. As for taste, it tastes like cheap bacon. Like I don't really dip some beans into the omelette, finish this. I'm not a big fan of these all day breakfasts. I think they're just too expensive for the low budget, the low quality and low quantity of um, food you're given. It was a gimmick, like a sort of um, say maybe they have their place for certain people who just can't, don't, they don't have the accessibility or, or an older person that just can't start frying up a, a frying pan for a bit of sausage and bacon. They don't eat a lot of food, they're not big eaters, so it wouldn't be worth their while frying up one sausage, one bit of bacon. For a grown man like me, it's just not enough. 
And I say, I'll eat this, but it is garbage. But I'm eating it because I'm hungry. I'm trying to mask some of the flavour of the sausage with the bean sauce. I don't think I'll finish the bacon. I think I'll just leave that bit of bacon. I don't want to push my luck, but I will finish the beans. They're grand. What? Can't really go wrong with a bean, can you? Bean and tomato sauce. You're safe enough. Hmm. Nay. I did put this on to the old app. Results are in. And they're not good. It got 49 out of 100. And it had three hazardous substances. You'll see them there. One moderate and three limited risk. Not very good. So, not the best in any way. Not the best for taste. Not the best for value for money. And just cheap quality food. But not a... Some people might say 250 is cheap, but you can get such better um, ready meals, frozen meals for much less. So the app give it per. I'm going to give it per. Would I buy it again? No. I say I only got it for the show use. So you don't want to waste your money. I'd give that 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. Just. Cheap rubbish and it's not good value for money, so but it cost me 250, so I'm gonna have to at least at least these beans here. So thanks for watching. Tell me what you think. Would you waste your money on these? I would say you probably wouldn't. But comment below and I'll see you on the next one.